Hey everybody, this is Alyssa from Fidelista.com and I'm so excited to be here with you today. I'm hoping that I can show you what it's like to become a figure competitor. However, I don't expect you to be one. I just want to help you with healthy tips and fitness and anything you'd like to know that I do that you're curious about. I'm hoping that I can inspire you to get up, feel healthy, uh, get fit, and enjoy your healthy eating lifestyle. I'm not a certified nutritionist. I am not a certified personal trainer. I've been blessed that I've been able to have this all shown to me on how to do it on my own. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit about what I do when I get up in the morning, how I start my day, my blood sugar check, um, how I monitor my blood sugar, and the making of my breakfast. Also, what may, I, what may be right for me may not be right for you. So my breakfast shouldn't necessarily be what you eat, but you can use these guidelines as a source for breakfast, such as oatmeal, egg whites, and blueberries. There's plenty of other options in these food groups or these carbohydrate groups that are complex carbohydrates that are the better carbohydrates for you. In addition, I have a blood um, insulin to carb ratio for my blood sugars that I need to follow. And yours is going to be different than mine. However, I document every single thing I do. This is my journal. And my goal right now is to get my blood sugars under 150. They fluctuate. And they fluctuate because of what time I ate at bedtime, how much I ate, and the consistency of my workouts. So each day varies, but we're starting to become more and more regulated. Regulated, It's trial and error. So I get up every morning, and I'm going to show you a good blood sugar day. On Friday, February 19th, this is my journal, and this is how I do it. So I get up every single morning, and I use my glucometer, and I test my blood sugar. And then I take my phone, and I'm on a Dexcom CGM machine. And my Dexcom has an app I put in my phone. And with this app, I calibrate my blood sugars. So right now, my phone's going a little wacko on me. Right now, I have a consistency of blood sugars. And the reason I'm not showing you my blood sugar is because I feel that's an individualized um, number. And everybody's numbers are different. And you hear, I need to be within this range. I need to be within this range. You don't necessarily have to be in that range. You have to be in the range that's right for you. And you need to understand your regimen and your diabetic regimen and how you handle your blood sugars because mine is completely different. So with that said, I get up in the morning, I write every day and the date. I write the time that I eat every morning, I test my blood sugar, usually around 6.45, I give insulin and I wait until 7.15, and I religiously eat between 7 and 7.15 every morning I give myself insulin. I'm on a Humalog pen, so I gave myself an injection this morning because I'm eating 41 carbohydrates, which, include, which includes a half a cup of oatmeal, a half a cup of blueberry, and six egg whites. I use a liquid measuring cup, so I use a full cup to equal six egg whites. Now, as I said, this might be a lot of food for you, and a lot of people like to skip breakfast. My advice is please try to eat something for breakfast. It starts your day. And I know we all say I don't have time, or I just like coffee, or I never ate breakfast before. If you want to try to start getting healthy, my advice is to try to eat a healthy breakfast. And that would include something that is as easy as oatmeal, a fruit. You can have a cup of blueberries that's 11 carbs. A half a cup of blueberries is 11 carbs. A half a cup of oatmeal is 30 carbs. So there's many different options, and you can look on, on a food exchange that's comparable to these fruits or these carbohydrates. Um, in addition, I have my big cup of coffee because 
I personally need that jolt for the morning. And, and then I start my breakfast. I'm also on a Lantus pen. This is my basal insulin. I use this for 24 hour basal insulin. It stays in me and this is what regulates my blood sugar throughout the day. And I use my Hemolog pen when I eat for insulin to carb ratios to keep my blood sugars regulated. So here we go. Come on into my kitchen with me. And um, this is what I do. Also, I wanted to share with you, because I'm in the process of becoming a fitness competitor, this is what I look like currently. Now, people might say, oh my gosh, you look great. Everybody has a comfort level. Right now, I'm 25 pounds heavier than competition show because it's not realistic to look like that all year round. You train to compete, and when you compete, you look like that for the time that you're dieting and the time that you're training. When you're done competing, everybody has their own goal of where they want to be. My personal goal is exceeds where I wanted to be. I've been through a lot the last six months, as we all do. And through each day and through each moment, each week that passes, each month that passes, we encounter good things and a lot of bad things too. And through those bad things, we're all human. Most of us turn to food. And that's unfortunately what I did. And yes, it affects my blood sugar, which is why I'm so happy to help you today. And through the process of my making of a fitness competitor, a figure competitor, because I want to show you that despite challenges in your life and despite my 25 pound weight gain, it's still possible to live a healthy lifestyle and get fit. Your fitness may not be my fitness. Your fitness can be walking down the block. The important thing is your get up and move. It wouldn't matter what you do, pick something that you enjoy doing. But for me, I am not content with myself like this. My clothes don't fit me. I don't feel like I look good, so therefore, I want to do something about it. So I've decided to compete again this year. This is going to be my last year, and the reason I'm doing it is because I want to show you that it is possible to go through a challenging period in your life and still be able to get back on track. So here's come into my kitchen with me. You can follow my morning routine, and like I said, what I eat, please don't feel that this is what you need to eat. I just want to help you with healthy choices. So come on into my kitchen with So welcome to my kitchen. I always say home is where the heart is. I have a small home, but my heart is here, and it's in the right place, and everything I do is predominantly in my kitchen. I prep my meals in here. I use my oven and my sink and my dishwasher because when you cook and when you prepare, you're constantly needing these, these resources that we're so blessed to have in a kitchen. So this is my morning routine. I start with my morning coffee. So I'm going to get myself a jug of water. And I set my coffee maker. And like I said, you don't have to use a gallon of water. I use it because I like the taste of it. And I have to measure my water. It's really, really, really important that you get water in your diet. Most people say, I can't drink water. I need water substitutes. I need to try to find something else. That's fine. Try something else, but use the water to do so. It's so important. Even if you can't drink water, just try. I have to drink a gallon a day. So I have to measure my water as a fit your competitor. Um, sometimes more, sometimes a little less, but I try to stick to a gallon to make sure I'm well hydrated. So the first thing I do is I pour my coffee into my machine. Got to have that jolt every morning. Starts my day with my healthy breakfast. So there's my coffee being made. And here's the fun part. I get to start my breakfast. So these are what I use. I use liquid egg whites. Um, I like them because it saves a lot of time in the morning, and I personally don't like eggs, but I have to get a source of protein, and being that I'm vegetarian, I do eat eggs, and I do eat fish, so I guess they call it a pescadorian. 
the reason why I do that is I really needed a good source of protein in my diet. And for me, that was the easiest way to find something that I could eat that wasn't necessarily chicken or turkey or beef. So this is what I enjoy, but you can also use an egg. You can also use an egg and use the whites of the egg. Um, because I eat egg whites doesn't mean that you need to egg, egg whites. You can still have a whole egg or two whole eggs. My advice is just get a calorie counter and a carbohydrate counter and look at where you need to be and follow those guidelines. And like I said, you can use some of the resources that I help you use, such as liquid egg whites. So six egg whites is one cup. For my diet, I eat six egg whites. I definitely don't know if this is what you would eat, but this is just what I personally eat. I use my scale for everything. I measure it and weigh all my food on a scale. The reason why I use a scale is one, because I need to carbohydrate count, and that is so important to keep your blood sugars regulated. So I use this predominantly for that reason, because I need to keep my blood sugars regulated. And the only way I can do it is measure and make my food accurately. So in my egg whites that I poured in my bowl, my one cup of egg whites, my favorite thing is having a mushroom and a piece of broccoli in there. As a fitness competitor, figure competitor, I make sure my scale is on zero, on ounces, and you don't have to do this, but I like mushrooms and broccoli every morning in my breakfast. So I actually, vegetables don't count as a carb, so you can have vegetables. My advice is just have them in moderation. Just because something is a free food, it doesn't mean that you can eat it in excess. So I like to weigh my vegetables, even though you don't mean to, I do because every calorie for me counts. That's how I get into shape. I count calories and I count my carbs. So, like I said, I'm dieting to be a figure competitor, and I have seven more, 17 more weeks to go. I've finished two weeks already, and I wanted to try to start this journey with you to see what it's like, what I look like now, and how I transform, being that I have this special designed eating plan for me and a special design workout, which I'm going to take you to it as well, but not today. Today is just going to be the breakfast part. So with my egg whites, I put them in my microwave, although you can cook them on your stovetop. I use my microwave. My microwave. I put them in my microwave. So I cook mine for four minutes. Um, you may want to cook yours at a different weight. The reason why I cook mine at four minutes is because that's how well done I like my eggs. But your eggs might like a certain way. So I don't recommend you necessarily cooking them for four minutes, cooking it for as many minutes as you feel works for you. And like I said, this is about what works for you and healthy tips I can help you with as far as what I've learned. So that if you want to get up and feel healthy and lose weight and get into shape, this is how I do it. So then I take my measuring cup, because I use my measuring cups. This is a half a cup. And every morning I have Quaker Oats. It's my absolute favorite treat. If I get to eat oatmeal, I am happy. I love oatmeal. So I measure a half a cup of oatmeal exactly. And you don't need to use your scalp for this. You can use a measuring cup. I don't use artificial sweeteners. Um, that's not part of my eating plan. Um, I'm not sure why. I do love Splenda. I do love the artificial sweetener taste. I loved it in my oatmeal, but I got used to not using it. I don't really know why. I just know it's been advised for me not to. So I live on cinnamon. I add flavor to everything with cinnamon. So I put a lot of cinnamon. Now here's the thing. You might want a quarter cup of oatmeal. You want my a cup of oatmeal. You might use individual packets and pour two packets in. You just have to know how much the carbohydrate exchange is. And you can look up any kind of one calorie king. You can look up in a carbohydrate counting book. Um, for me, I've just learned this is how I do it because it's been carb counting for me. So with my half a cup of oatmeal, I put a lot of cinnamon in it. And my cinnamon may not be your cinnamon, but my cinnamon kills the hunger. So I put a lot of cinnamon in my bowl. 
and my bowl of oatmeal looks like that. And then I put in what water I put in, you may not put in. I put a cup and a quarter of water in, because that's how I like my oatmeal. Um, you can cook oatmeal on the stove top, and there are many different ways. Like I said, I just read the recommendations on how to cook your oatmeal. And then when my egg whites are done, I put them, I take them out and I put my oatmeal in. The next thing I do, I love this. These are my candy, blueberries. I get to eat a half a cup of blueberries with my breakfast. And yes, this is my biggest meal of the day, 41 carbs. So measuring your fruit is so important because fruit will cause irregular blood sugar. So my advice is to take a bowl, just as I'm doing, I take this bowl and I measure it on a scale. I start it with the scale on zero and ounces and then I put the bowl on and I make sure the, the, the bowl is at zero when I measure. Then I take my blueberries and a half a cup of blueberries is 11 parts. So I measure my blueberries. I make sure I always have backup, so whenever I run out, I make sure I have enough. So I'm going to show you what a half a cup of blueberries looks like. So this is what I pour, and this is about a half a cup of blueberries, about that much. So that's what I use for my breakfast every morning. I don't take any supplements, and as a diabetic, so many people ask, what do you take? What kind of vitamins do you take? Um, am I on steroids? This is the biggest thing that I get. No, I am not on steroids. I choose to have well-regulated blood sugars. And I am a very honest person. I try to do the right thing. And so the right thing for me is eating these vitamins. This is called First Step. They're a liquid multivitamin and mineral. And it says rich in... Um, antioxidants and it's used by champions um, so I just use it not because of a champion but because this is what's told for me that has all of the ingredients in a liquid and I measure it up to one ounce and I drink it so that's my vitamins for the morning I drink a cup of water about this big and I make sure it's all finished by the time I'm done with my breakfast. So I get a good amount of water in to start my day. Coffee does not is not an excuse for saying I have water. Tea is not an excuse for saying I have water because I often make tea sometimes instead of coffee. But for me, I like to make sure I have I'm well hydrated and I drink a lot of water. So that's my breakfast, and that's how I do it in the kitchen. And I hope that I've helped you with some of these morning tips that I do, and I'm going to continue to help you along my journey so that you can use some of these strategies and techniques. Um, like I said, what I do may not be right for you, but you can use some of these food groups to have a healthy eating plan, eat breakfast, know to drink water, and measure and weigh your food and carbohydrate count, and then you'll have a day start off to a nice, healthy, fit, and bright way. Um, thank you all for joining me in my kitchen today, and um, have a healthy and enjoyable day, and thank you so much.